So as you can see behind me, uh, it's been set up as we speak. It's lit up in red. St George's Hall is looking stunning ahead of tonight's Freedom of the City event. Really special night tonight, mm. uh, Lord Mayor Ros Gladden. Tell us, tell us exactly what is going to happen here tonight. Well, it's, it's a traditional ceremony. This is long-standing ceremony. Um, freedom of the City generally means you can drive your sheep down Dale Street, but obviously in this context it does matter. Um, some of the people who've got it as individuals, it's the highest accolade that the city can bestow on individuals or an organisation. Um, and the last people to get that was um, the Beatles so that's the sort of statue wow. that we're looking at so I think it, how it's important in the context of the 96 is that we, we often talk about the 96 as a group of individuals we very rarely look at them as individuals and people so I think tonight does that we're, we're actually bestowing an honour on those 96 individuals and each of the medals has their name on it so it's going to be something that the families can treasure and look down on and pass pass those medals down in terms of the family so it's we hope in a really respectful honorable way we're going to bestow this honor on those so as we can see on screen right now there are actually 96 scrolls 96 medals that have yeah. been specially made with yeah. the names of them individual people on that is absolutely beautiful. it's stunning and um the, the scrolls are actually put, designed in a specific way but the um the artist is employed by the City Council, Esther, and she's done an absolutely amazing job and she's incorporated things into it, such as the scales of justice and um, the St George's Hall into the art, art, artwork. Um, but I, I sat there and both me and Mayor Anderson and the Chief Exec had to sign the scrolls individually. And the day I did that, um, I, I needed it to mean something for me, so I sat there and I put the um, I put on the computer the faces of everybody, so that when I signed their name, I had their picture, so I knew who was signing it for. So it is important that this is about individuals; it's not just about the 96. That is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, a beautiful way to do it as well, Ross. Uh, the 96 obviously honoured tonight, but not only that, we got Professor Phil yeah. Scraton, uh, Kenny and Marina Dagleish. Just tell us about their involvement, because until I seen the documentary, I didn't really understand Phil's involvement. It was, was yeah. so huge. Well, he he just took this. Um, he took this like a bull by the horns and said, I'm, I'm going to do this. And with dogged, absolutely dogged determination to find out the truth uh, through all this and went through the archives and worked so hard to do it. And he's a very humble man. I don't know whether you've interviewed him, but he is a very humble man and was absolutely determined to get to the bottom. Um, and Phil was absolutely amazing. Without him, I don't think we'd have ever got there, you know. He fought and fought, didn't he? And he, he must did. have had some dark days doing that. Oh, he must have done. And it's very, very hard as somebody who's, um, you know, an archivist and somebody who was just amazing, just amazing. And obviously, Marina and Kenny, you know, we know about their contribution right from the very first dark days and attending all the funerals and the support that they've given through the years. And those people, you know, Kenny and Marina have, have done great things for the city in their own right, and we have to remember that. Um, but in terms of the 96 and the support that they've given to the families, they've never, ever forgotten. Wherever they've gone since Hillsborough, they've never forgotten the families and they stayed by them. Certainly, they'll be in attendance tonight. Yeah. Uh, it's lit up in red, it's looking stunning. Yeah. And this is kind of the perfect way to end such, such a strange but incredible year as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the verdicts in April... Um, you know the jury verdicts that came in absolutely vindicated the decision you know the stance that they've taken over 27 years imagine waiting 27 years to get those decisions and knowing that your family members have been vilified and um, you know even accused of causing their own deaths which is an, the most horrendous thing that could happen to anybody you know and they were absolutely vilified on that day in April and this is the culmination of that we need to honor those people it looks great. You look great as well, Roz, I've got to say. Much, Enjoy tonight. We'll let you go and set up. Fantastic okay. night here at St George's Hall. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot, Jay.